Hello traders, how are you? Vladimir here and this is the weekly forecast for the week of 3rd of April 2014 first week of April and things are getting interesting and I would even say very very interesting a lot of opportunities are about to come so let's don't waste time and let's start covering everything. First of all, this week, Wednesday, we had on Friday, we had on from payrolls, blah, 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 <laughs> the, the same story. Uh, good numbers uh, of the job market. The only thing was that um, the unemployment rate raised up to 5% from 49%. How, that's not what about, about the fact. The, the fact that affects the market is that the Fed said, that they will not rush to increase the rates anymore again I mean, and that's what brings the anti-dollar trading period and that's what is going to stay for a while so this is going to be my direction dollar yen will be the first one dollar yen you remember how short i am from the beginning of the year this head and shoulders now making its job there is much more to continue the first stage is going to be here around 108 107 approximately from here we might get some attempt which after i believe we are going to continue now note this was the double cycle here right we are going to below this place later or sooner therefore there is a lot more to go as for now on the short term despite the divergences as long as this trend line holds, I would look for any pullbacks, sell opportunity. From my point of view, there is more to go. We are going to 108, 107, sell rallies until then, as long as the trend line holds. Only the trend line will be broken. From my point of view, game over as for short term. The next pair on the list, Mr. Euro Yen. Euro Yen made a double move up. Actually, it's triple here. Now it's about to correct very, very likely. It raised up, uh, up until here. Very, very good zone. Trend line. Very classical. Sell pullbacks. We drop down to lower time frame. You can see the 4 hour chart. Triple cycle. Completing itself. 1, 2, 3. So basically, we are looking now for this convergence. Once we got it, ten, 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 two waves up on lower time frames and look to sell the breakout we are going back to this place 50 of the entire cycle okay and i'm so sorry i'm talking pretty fast the the fact is that we have a lot of things mm -hmm. and it's very very important to cover everything okay so this is what we uh, have here in this place we uh, on the short term after that from this place we might get it all the way down for new bottoms even for the next divergence lag or uh, we might get another pullback like making something like that one two three four and then continuation for potential triple so uh, and again the, the reason i for long run i don't uh, see that this is over is because the monthly don't have any divergence on the bullish side therefore sell 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 convergence retrace sell risk small potential big we cannot ask for more euro dollar now again we can, i can go over and over all the other yen pairs okay but i don't want to waste your time the only one i would like to look for great opportunities for a long term that's cad yen which is able to do this now and provide after that some great opportunity for a buy right now we have another false break here and here bearish divergence a really good sign on the short term we have sorry one hour chart we have a bearish convergence see that see this place now between these two guys we have bearish convergence that's pretty nice so if we can get something like that we had triple cycle down on friday if we can get this to this place we can look for other shorts. Uh, once we create these two waves down back to this trend line, okay, one, two, three, four, and of course, all that is relevant as long as this top holds. Okay, once we reach this place, that's approximately 83, 84, we could talk about long up to 90 once 
again. There is, of course, a scenario of a range, but to be honest, this is uh, uh, the range. As for now, for me, is sell rallies yet. Now, OZN is another pair we can do that, of course. Okay, take a look here. They all create the same scenarios, but on sh on longer run, it's by dip. So it's like it should do like this and this. So as for now, short term with the convergences, convergence, two waves up, sell versus these stops, of course, and aim for two bigger waves down to mirror the last cycle. Game over. Moving on for other than the than the yen pairs, euro dollar, triple cycle on daily. Boom, boom, boom. Reaching 114. The one saying 114 I've been talking about. Not once. Triple cycle on four hour. Same place. Now the only thing here with the Euro dollar is the fact that we still are moving in kind of a range here. So it might even try to boost it up and try to false break once again before the continuation lower. That is doable. But on short term, I do believe somewhere in between 114 to 115, I believe we are about to find a top on the short term, make some kind of retrace. And once we get the retrace, which I believe should be down to here, we are very likely to look for buys again. Now, you know my point of view about the entire market. I said not once, we, and of course I'm not the only one to say that. We are in a very real, very realistic world currency war. This is going to be the Fed versus the Eurozone versus the Pacific guys, Mr. Stevens and New Zealandian uh, governor. I, am, uh, I don't remember the name to be honest, sorry. Um, versus Britain with the referendum on uh, uh, June. This and Japan, of course, and China, of course, this is the time where financial... They, they don't have any other solution. Everyone has the rate so low. They, have any, they don't have anything else to, to do. You understand what, what, what I mean? You got my point, my friend? This is the time now where they don't have what to do. Now, of course, negative cash rates, that's one of the solutions. But if the euro rallies despite of negative rates, just imagine how big the pressure would be on a central bank. They have to devalue the euro dollar. And they will find a way. But this is the world currency war. Alright? So, as for now, on short uh, on short term, look for pullbacks on longer term potential buys, starting from 114 and higher. That could be 115. That could be even 116. We are after sales back to somewhere in like 112, down to 110. From there, very likely after buys again. Now, pound dollar is the only one that is very, very tricky. Now, we have this range scenario I've been talking about, and so far, it's moving based on that. It might do this false break and make the duplication. It's still doable, which I still believe it could, and even should, to be honest. But there is not a bad chance at all we will break it down and just continue lower. To complete this cycle, to make it all the way to 133, that they will again bring huge pressure, huge pressure on the markets. Okay, and I believe actually that the real pressure is going to be somewhere from starting from May, to be honest, as we will get closer to June and the referendum, of course. So, for pound dollar, I am still on the opinion we should be f looking for potential buys soon. For me, not a bad buy would be if we manage to get another drop to the bottom of the range, create some kind of divergence here on this or lower time frame. Maybe we go for a special cycle 
And from there, look for potential buys. The risk should be small, the reward could be huge. Definitely worth to try. If we break it down without any retraces, we will aim 133 on the next drop. And we have to keep an eye on this one. Now, I am, I guess I said, I am doubtful about this scenario. It is doable. That doesn't matter. It's not. Now, pound pairs, from my point of view, are going to be massive opportunities. And here are some of them. Euro pound, which broke the triangle I have been talking about. Uh, sorry, the, the range scenario I have been talking about. See that? It broke it up. Now with a realistic break, with this kind of momentum we gain, we are after another another um, cycle to complete. Now this triple cycle, completing and now making one more wave. This is the zone. I know it's big. I know it's big. But this is the monster zone we are approaching. There, we will get the stop. We will renew and recomplete the divergence. This is going to be a monster that will take us back to 075 zone approximately, later or sooner. According to weekly time frame, we also start to create divergence. It's not there yet, but technically it reached the divergence place as it got this double cycle and now it rallies close to the top of it. So once again we are approaching to a monster zone. It starts from 080. My point of view we are going to closer like 081, 082 zone and from there we are going to see the very 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 serious action now take a look on monthly chart we start to create a bearish hidden divergence with bend to bend move on weekly time frame we start to create potential bearish continuing divergence another great sign it's not there there yet therefore as we broke above we don't and I repeat, we do not deal with sales as for now. You try, very likely will be burned. As for now, at this stage, before we got divergence completed, before we got any false break or so, it's best to look to buy dips. Drop down to 4-hour chart and 1-hour chart. There are no signs for a sell. Don't get confused by this sexy uh, 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 extreme that could make the down move and we better be looking for mirrors and buys our risk is going to be small the reward could be much 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 bigger once we will get the combinations of the divergences on the mentioned levels above on a daily chart then and only then we should switch and look to sell for long term and by long term i mean anything in between 500 to 800 pips to the downside that's huge number of potential points to the downside until then lower time frames okay we might start the week with some push up and then boom 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 and look for buys Okay, anyway, as long as this trend line is respected, from my point of view, that's the clever direction. Next one, pound Aussie broke the last bottom. We are going for the next bottom as on big cycle. This is now a special cycle. The divergence is a potential, it's going to be created very likely, it's going to be created here. That's around 182 down to 180. For a longer run, I have no doubts we will get it right here to close the gaps for a long run. Until then, I believe we are going to face some kind of retrace, which after might provide a great opportunity. So on the short term, no bullish divergence on weekly means sell big rallies. These big rallies would very likely come somewhere from 182, 183, maybe even 180. 
it will find the bottom, make this kind of pullback, maybe even a bit deeper, and then we will be after one more serious wave down. I want to repeat my double cycle from the weekly time frame. You all remember that. I've been talking about it so many times in the past. We are here. We are going to here. <laughs> okay? That's where we will get some monster buy. It's very, 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 very earliest for now. So that's why I'm back to here on a short term. So on short term, you, we can even, let's make it on the intraday term, okay? Like uh, beginning of the week. Okay, we can, we have the trend line, right? So one, whenever it makes this pullback, we can look and try to sell. Versus trend lines, versus last stops, look for small risk and look to aim 183, 182, or maybe even lower until the daily chart cycle will be completed and created. Next one, Pound Canadian is going for a special cycle as well. That's where it should take us to. This is the special cycle I refer to. This is where we are going to create divergence on the short term. Uh, four hour chart, right? Pullbacks. We have a trend line right now. Retraces to back to here. Any two waves go. It might start with some gap. It might start even with some momentum to continue. It might complete this first of all. Okay, after we we'll, should provide something like that and sell rallies. We are aiming 182 down to 180 zone. Sell rallies well, as long as the trend line holds. Next one, pound franc monster. Pound franc should complete two amazing cycle opportunities. Number one, big cycle aiming us back to 132. Number two, big cycle is aiming us back to 132. Therefore, let's make long story short. And I was the first to look for buys here, as you remember. We got some pullback. It didn't provide us a very, very, very big rally. But now, once it's, it's breaking and changing the cycle, we have to change it back. So, push-ups. It should be mirrored, mirrored to Euro Pound, basically. Retraces up, go for a sell we, until the next divergence will create a sell. That should be 133, 132, approximately. And the final one, my monster, I keep to the end. This is Mr. Pound Kiwi. And here we go. One, two, three. S uh, scenario number one, right? Scenario number two. One, this cycle is about to end here. That's uh, slightly higher. That's right here. That's around two, up to two or one approximately. Next cycle meeting point is going to be here. See that? This is guess what? Two, and the final cycle, believe it or not, is waiting for us with its own duplication, as well on this zone. My dear friend, we are approaching for a monster. Sell rallies until then. We are going to here. We will get on this place weekly and monthly trend line meeting point. See that? This is a monster with a bullish divergence. We are approaching for rare opportunity. This is going to be action zone. We might get some false break here and start to buy because the buy would provide you, believe it or not, something like 1500 points, maybe even more. This is top opportunity from my point of view. Which brings me to New Zealandian dollar, which is, after all, very likely going for this, going for this, going for this. There is no bearish divergence yet. Therefore, buy retraces. We are aiming higher. We might go and close this resistance zone around 072. 
But keep in mind what the Central Bank of New Zealand said, uh, said not once. If it will be required, we will do all it takes to devalue the currency value. World Currency War. Did I already mention that? We are approaching to this area. 071-ish. Get ready for a sell. Until then, for retraces, look for buys. If we get retraces, buy, buy, buy. Next one, Ozzy Kiwi. Ozzy Kiwi, from my point of view, and you know my view, is a buy as well. This is a trend line. What I want to get is one more push down to create a bullish divergence. Once we get 4-hour chart divergence with the combination of bullish hidden on daily, that should be a monster buy. That would very likely happen somewhere in between 110.20 down to 109. This is the zone where I would be want to look for buys and start to aim for the next highs as well. That's all for uh, currencies. That's the best opportunities I have on my list. Now, oh, sorry, 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 I forgot uh, dollar Canadian to cover that. Now, dollar CAD is tricky, to be honest, because there is still a chance we are going all the way to this place. So, from my point of view, it's best not to touch as for now. But keep in mind this opportunity, as it had triple cycle in the short term, what it might do is this. On short term, it might provide us this kind of opportunity. We might get some nice risk reward there. If it just breaks it lower, then you simply go to below 127. And there is a very, 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 very big chance we are going for 1, 2, 3. And this is here. And watching on a weekly chart, this is band to band with half more. See that? And a trend line. There's a very big chance we are going down to there. As for now, I don't think we should uh, deal with that. For the investors of you, 128, 127 is great zone to start to collect. Next one going to be 123, 122 approximately. Next area to collect. We will find the bottom. We will rally again towards 135, one to, up to 140. Until then, trade it carefully. Next one, dollar czar is also opportunity I want to refer to. We are after double cycles here, so retraces. Consider to sell them. This pair is going to here. It is going to take time, of course, but this is monster opportunity. Look for good risk reward trades. Unless you are in an investment and you enjoy your swaps, we are going for a good zone, so enjoy that. All right, now go commodities quickly. Silver, I, I see scenario of a uh, range. I want to get this double cycle to here, false break on lower time frames, and look for buys again. Therefore, for our chart, I want one more push down, complete the bullish divergence, and look for buy opportunities. Oil is very tricky with its drop down, but from my point of view so far, Makes sense, because I want to remind you that was our, our scenario. We were on a cycle up. We are now after um, cycle down. We are after bullish hidden divergence and a bullish divergence to support here. There is no divergence supporting right now. We had triple here. We had a pullback. And now we are very likely going for something like that once again. Once we complete it, we can look for longs again. A bit early. It's not there yet. It's coming. Final one. S&P. You remember my scenario? We are approaching there as following. Triple cycle. Triple cycle should be approximately around 2090. That could miss several points. That could overcross several points. This monster is coming. From my point of view, anything in between one to four weeks, it's about to complete itself. And that's what's coming next. I don't see blacks, I just see the potential realities of this ranging cycle. And of course, there is there is a potential scenario which I want to remind you from the weekly forecast 
of this. There is a chance we are going to 2200. Yes, there is. It still will be considered as a potential false break of this cycle. False break here, retrace down, and say bye-bye for future zone. So don't get confused by these sexy rallies. They are just to bring in more money as investors. Of course, on the short term, they could pay. On long, they will not. Technically, fundamentally, uh, watching on the depths, watching on the scenarios to come. Plus, don't forget, China reopened the short positions. Those who attacked the shorts last time will find a reason to do it again. When? Normally, things tend, tend to happen on April and May. Where we are right now? April. So, that's why I make this video this week so special. So many opportunities and this is the final one. These guys could pay and they could pay like monsters. Guys, you are warned right now. I'm not watching Black, I'm just sh showing you the opportunities to make money and tons of money if you invested clever and correct. You can sh on look to short with small risk, you can be wrong five times, ten times in a row, who cares? It's enough only one time to be right, only one time to be right, to make huge returns. And I'm not here to be Mr. Predictor, I'm not here to predict things to happen, I'm, I'm here to help you make money. This is my only goal here. You make money, I am successful mentor and that's exactly what I am here okay and that's why I show you these things as they are I'm not telling you now sell now this is the best opportunity I'm not giving you any signal right now here I'm telling you we are approaching to this zone I trust your clever view and your clever responsible uh, uh, approach and attitude to find your best setups and remember my words, you can lose, and even I can lose, one, two, three, five, ten attacks, who cares? I'm looking only for one time, one time, to make the boost, and make one, my half percent or one percent risk, and turn it into 40 percent. That's what's going to happen. One, exactly, no idea, I just know based on the cycles it should be anywhere on uh, the good moves should start anywhere in between april to may when exactly time will tell maybe even not but the next thing to come is going to be according to the last moment okay take a look these are the mirrors we are dealing with that's what's coming next that's why i say okay let's put the lines okay see these lines now let's put them vertically this is approximately and this is them. See the, 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 the zones? April and May. That's why I say that. That's so. So, you judge, you watch, you enjoy. I'm here for you. If you have any feedback, any question, anything you want to say, anything you want to share, any charts of your own, feel free to do so. I will reply as soon as I can. Feel free to share this forecast with anyone you believe could have any good benefit out of it. This is free. This go. This is goal this goal is very very simple you guys make money that's all i want you happy me happy win-win situation i don't need anything else just to show and to prove anyone can do good on forex there is a place for anyone i'm not any way better than any one of you no way better and this is my goal to show you if i had this ability to do so you can i'm just i just hope i can give you the right guidance with the right explanation with the right uh, directions and instructions so you can one day meet your goals and dreams as well thank you for your time watching this video i wish you best i wish you wonderful months great week i'm here for you for any question yours vladimir Rybakov.